Long hours before the sun dipped over the Pacific a few short miles away, the faithful began to keep their vigil, hoping to catch glimpses of the movie greats who would shortly descend in droves on the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion of the Los Angeles Music Center for the 46th annual observance of the industry rite. Angie Dickinson and Burt Bacharach. Groucho Marx. Edie Williams and a Great Dane dog. Who is this Outlander? This is Pete Miller at the Academy Awards. For the unreconstructed movie fan, the evening was heaven, basking in the warmth of wave upon wave of concentrated charisma. Paul Newman. Jack Lemmon. But inside, for those who were nominated, rather than heaven, it was the beginning of two hours of hell awaiting the judgment of their peers. When the suspense had ended, the evening finally unfolded. For the winners in Hollywood's richest sweepstakes, reaction ranged from shock to joy to icy control. It was shock, I tell you. I did not think I was going to get it. And what made it worse was that, that so many of my friends did. How do you feel, Mr. Marks? How do I feel? Fine. How are you? <laughs> How do I feel? Who? That's what you mean. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Isn't that funny? All right.